Good morning guys and welcome to Tuesday. Interval day on my marathon training program. As you see this morning, 84 degrees. Uh, yeah, humidity's not too bad, but you would think it was like way worse with <laughs> I don't know if this is even showing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sweating pretty good. But anyhow, um had a bit of an off day. Um because as you guys know, I'm getting close to closing on my mom's house, which I found out uh, yesterday from the from the title company that it closes tomorrow. So hopefully tomorrow after work, I can hand over the keys and uh, say goodbye to that chapter of my life. So that definitely kind of threw my my game off this morning, but I did make the best of it, and I'll certainly go and let you here um, after my shower. So let's see, 16 hours of recovery time. Not too bad, only 3.33 miles, fine. Um, wow, back to 54, sweet. You know, I was going to say that the first mile seemed kind of low heart rate, so I was happy. Um, yesterday during my run, I did bring back uh, my, H, uh, my VO2 to the 53, so I was happy with that. And I'll be happy to share with those numbers with you guys as well, because I don't have too much going on this morning, um, as long as I got the door on time. So, anyhow... That's it. I'm going to go get my shower and I'll meet you downstairs. Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Tuesday interval day of my marathon training program. And uh, no longer my 16 week marathon training program. It's been kind of extended to like, um, I don't have the numbers, like 24, 25 week marathon training program. But anyhow, um, as you guys know from my Saturday video, um, I should have been racing this past weekend. Clearly that didn't happen. So I did my 16 mile Bartlett type run. Fine, fine. Um, that definitely had um, some perks, although it uh, definitely showed me who was boss. Um, respectfully, um, mostly because I, you know, as, as you guys know, I wasn't exactly, I kind of put together the plan at the very last minute. So um, planning is everything. Let me rest assured with that. Um, anyhow, that run definitely helped to contribute to this run. And um, I kind of got an inkling of what was to, I kind of had some idea um, after yesterday's run, which I'll share with you guys as well. Even though normally I don't share my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday runs with you, um, because normally they're just kind of like recovery runs after going to the gym. Um, I did see some interesting, interesting things that I'd share with you. But anyhow, as always, before we get started, and to those who just recently joined my channel, um, a shot of wheatgrass has the nutritional equivalent to two pounds of fresh raw green vegetables. And so, cheers. And yes, for you guys who are new, um, I do grow this here in my house, and every day, I plant a seed for basically a new serving, and every day I have a new serving ready. So it's about a 14-day cycle altogether, but it's just a continuous, basically continuous crop per se. Anyhow, um, with that, uh, today's intervals. I know two weeks ago I talked to you guys about maybe switching it up, maybe going back to half miles because I felt like I was kind of hitting plateau. Um, last week I kind of uh, just made it a week worth of easy runs. Uh, with the intent of doing something um, pretty good on Saturday, which turned out pretty good. <laughs> um, so anyhow, today I went back and I'm thinking, all right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? In addition to, yes, my legs are feeling better. Still not 100%, but they're still they're doing better. Um, and I know normally after the first mile, then uh, you know the endorphins kick in and whatever pains I'm feeling in my ankles or whatever, uh, those are usually have subsided. Um, so... After my first mile, I thought about it, and I'm like, all right, let's go back to doing one mile drills, and let's let's see if I just can't build up some volume. That was kind of the plan. Build up some volume, maybe not worry too much about top speed, but worry about the volume. So I went and hit my first one, and <clears throat> to be honest with you, I didn't. I wanted to see what I was comfortably capable of doing without always watching the watch. You know, always look, okay, pick it up, pick it up, or whatever. You know, I didn't want to necessarily think about that. So I took off, and I didn't look at my watch till half mile into it to kind of give myself an idea as to what kind of pace I was holding without really trying to hold a specific pace. And so with that, it wasn't too bad, but I did realize that 
my head wasn't in the game. My head really wasn't in the game today. I know you guys have heard me about this before um, in the past weeks. Um, but over the weekend, uh, the, the buyers on my mom's house had, um, had come to uh, an agreement with my brother because the house technically belongs to him, but because he lives in Maine and I live here in Phoenix, I get to babysit the property. That's what family does. And so um, I get the, the agony of going back almost weekly to do whatever, show the house, whatever. And, um, and so those two have finally come to terms. It's entitled now, uh, or as, well, take, you call it escrow, but it's a cash purchase. I don't know if it's really an escrow because it's cash. I don't know what my watch is doing. Um, and so the house closes tomorrow. Thank God tomorrow the house closes and hopefully tomorrow after work, I'm handing over the keys and it'll be the last time I physically plan to see that house again. And I don't have nothing against the house other than the fact that I found my mom there. And so those, you know, although although she lived in the house for 20 years and we had, you know, we had great family memories, you know, clearly it's it's um, it's the final memories that seem to really hurt the most. And so uh, that's been really playing hard on me. Um, although I, I showed up to play, my head wasn't in the game, so I switched it up. After doing my first mile, I went and I'm like, all right, let's try a half because clearly we don't have holes in us. Let's try a half mile. Tried a half mile, um, really wasn't too impressed with that number, and I'll show you here in a second. So I'm like, all right, you know what? It's been a couple weeks since you really pushed yourself with legs, so treat this more like a warm-up, uh, reintroduction to intervals. And so I did, um, you might say, you can call them strides on the way back. Uh, you guys remember me sometimes running from light pole to light pole or counting out 70 strides per my stride length is pretty much the equivalent of a 100 meter dash. And so I would do that. I would go uh, stride out or I'd jog out to the first light pole, hit it hard to the next one. Recovery jog to the next one, hit it hard again. So back and forth, back and forth. And so I figured maybe the shorter distances um, would have helped and it did a little bit. So with that, let's go ahead and show you and try to keep on point here. Um, this morning here, only 3.33 miles, that's fine. Uh, I spent 369 calories. Pretty easy there, might be able to buy myself a Snickers bar with that. <laughs> uh, just kidding, I, I do love Snickers though. Uh, 84 degrees, that seems to coincide pretty much with, uh, with Google said. And yeah, I, I was carrying some sign. I know it didn't quite uh, translate on the video, but 33% humidity, oh man, you stand still. And yeah, it was kind of just muggy. So I don't know what the deal on that is. Um, uh, going out, strides, start out wide, and then of course, uh, not exactly certain because personally towards the end here my legs felt warmer but my stride got shorter. Okay, that's fine. Um, but And then you can see the, the red. This is my first mile, this is the half mile, and this is my little, my little strides, uh, 100 meter dashes on the way back. So they, you gotta admit, they kind of make some interesting artwork when you look at it that way. And so, um, and yeah, even though here, even though here I, you know, came out all right. Again, I wasn't looking at my watch. And you figure right about there, 6, 19, it was just kind of going downhill 18 minutes into it. Uh, so you figure like the last two and a half minutes, I was just dropping off. Okay. And then even with the half, started out really strong there, looking kind of impressive, and just faded. Just faded. You know, again, the head wasn't really wasn't in the game. <laughs> and even the little 100 meter strides, they looked like downhill stairs. Little by little, they got slower and slower. But I, I still... The most important thing here is, even though your head's not in the game, because um, your head really tells your body what to do. Your body doesn't necessarily always have total control. Um, and so if your head's not in the, in the game to crack the whip and keep the body moving, the body's not going to do more than it really has to or want to. And we all kind of know this. Um, so I made the best of it. I made the best of it. It, it, got me some, it got some workout in, so that was good. As you can see, it also got me... Um, Sorry, um, my phone keep, my watch keeps vibrating on and off because it's going from Bluetooth connect, Bluetooth disconnect, back and forth, back and forth. Don't know why. Um, anyhow, so uh, so yeah, when you you know your head's not in the game, it's really hard. So I I start out the full, realize my head really wasn't into the game of, of tolerating uh, the distance and the speed and you know 
just that, that, you know, that sense of pain that comes along with trying to push yourself for the course of a mile. So I decided to shorten it to a half mile. All right, that went all right, but really wasn't impressive. Then I decided to just do 100 meter strides because in, in all reality, in, in what, like 15, 20 seconds, they're over with. So this was a good way of making the best of my day when, you know, I, I really wasn't, you know, out to play as hard as I could have. And so um, with that, these are what my numbers look like. <clears throat> After my first mile warm up, okay, fine. Uh, nothing impressive, but nothing like bad per se. Um, uh, that, this was my first mile, 629, and and again, really wasn't pushing, really wasn't pushing the speed too much. <clears throat> average pace 163. I'm sorry, average heart rate 163. I maxed out 171. So not too bad, not too bad. Then um, after four and a half minutes of recovery, I came back and did it, just did over a half mile. Not very impressive with that, clearly, especially for a half mile. Um, however. Heart rate still kind of made the, made the same, uh, you know, hit the same peak. Um, average was a little bit lower, but still hit the same peak. All right, what, what, what's this? What's going on here? I really did not hit nothing, you guys. I had no idea what just just happened. Well, that was weird, like really weird. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight this stuff. So anyhow, so the half again really wasn't too impressive. So I realized, okay, clearly maybe half mile is not a good time for me right now. So I went ahead and after after four minutes recovery, this is when I first took off for this is when I first took off, okay? This is my first stride. Hang on, we'll just get these highlighted right now, get this out of the way. So first stride, and we know 0 0.06. Uh, for those who've been watching for a while, we know that it, it, it that Decimal di distance, decimal distance is equivalent to 100 meters. Uh, popped out of 528. Well, that was kind of 441. I have to go look at that. That'd be kind of cool if that was true. Um, that's kind of weird because look, best pace is five. So let's go take a look at that one. Anyhow, so 528 for the first one. Uh, recovered there for 35 seconds. Uh, went ahead and hit it again. Hit again for almost another 100 meters. Uh, 537, a little shaved off a little bit, um, uh, recovered again for 35 seconds, hit it again, again, an hour, you can see where it's kind of falling off the wagon there. So just under six, recovered for 44 seconds, 45 seconds, and wow, two seconds faster. So these two are pretty much about the same. So nothing too impressive there, but under the circumstances, I did my best to push myself. And um, again, with the first mile, kind of nice to know I only spent 89 calories. That was kind of neat. Uh, so overall, not too bad. Now, when I was now when I was talking to you guys about Monday, ooh, gotta get going. This is uh, this is kind of what Monday looked like. I don't think it was 90 degrees, uh, but anyhow, uh, I just kind of went out an open run, which means. I, I'm like, all right, body, you know, keep it between 55 and 60, and I'll let you do whatever you want to do. And so pretty much maintaining within that reason, uh, a couple times there's a bump for whatever reason, uh, this is kind of what I was looking at. And if we go five beats or 10 beats per full minute, and if I'm doing 60, then this pretty much puts me at about the eight, maybe 806, 805 range on a 155. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Um, so this made me feel pretty good, but what was really impressive was this. That was happy camper time. 100 calories a mile at these paces, I was totally happy. So clearly, although Saturday didn't go exactly the way I wanted Saturday to go, it definitely made a difference. That's the most important thing. It made a difference, and that's what training is all about. And Real quick to wrap this up because I definitely got it going. Um, oops. You can see Monday, you know, with my easy run, uh, my training effect was 3.3. Now, <laughs> this is the sad part. Uh, today's training effect was 2.7. And for those of you guys who are new, uh, 2.7 means I'm maintaining aerobic fitness. Boring, boring. And you guys normally know I never seem to go below three. Never seem to go below three. You know, I'll be lucky if I hit three because it's always fours and fives. So today's, you, 
based on this 2.7, you can clearly see I'm just not in the game. My hair wasn't in the game. And it's just one of those things. You know, it's one of those things. You know, you have a goal, you have a race plan, and life happens. You've got to find a way to work around it. You just do. And so, hopefully, while the entire purpose of this video series was not what it's turned into with regards to becoming more of a life story around trying to get to, you know, you know train for a marathon. It wasn't quite, you know, geared that way, but it's turned into that. And hopefully, hopefully you guys, you know, can relate in some way, shape, or form to some of the challenges I've had. Because I want you to know you're not alone. Um, a lot of times we see stuff on the internet, it's all about perfect endings, perfect races, perfect training, all that stuff. But life happens. Life isn't always perfect. And so we have to do our best to work through that while still working towards our goals. And that's kind of what this is all about. So that's all I've got for you guys today because I seriously got to get out the door in like five minutes. Um, if you like today's video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'm always happy to address your questions or comments. And for those of you guys who are new, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I post new videos. Tuesdays are generally interval days. Thursdays are general uh, tempo type days. And then, of course, Saturdays are long run days. No questions are asked about that. So that's what we've got for you guys today. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic Tuesday, and I'll see you Thursday. Take care.